<laughs> Better made. Came up with them thoroughbred swap world that was Detroit City. Moved out to the Gold State, California. I ain't come from love with me. Focus like Adderall. When I had a ball, I shattered boys. Shack fool in the 9 2 with vocab boy like Scattergore. One kid, but I'm sunning. What up, everybody? I'm Mark. This is Inmo Closet Collection. Thanks for hitting my channel up. If your videos are fresh as the best kicks, merch, etc., be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Shout out to Master Gaming for the reminder. Today, we're going to be unbagging <laughs> and reviewing the new Yeezy Pods. These pods were originally released for pre order December 15th, 2023, for the price of a whopping $200. About a week or so prior to that, it was a tease on Yeezy.com that had the pods for 100 bucks. Surprisingly, <laughs> After the orders start shipping out, after people start receiving their pairs, Kanye Ye end up lowering the price of everything on his website, everything, including the vultures gear and everything, to 20 bucks a piece. So people were able to get refunded 180 bucks from their original orders from $200 back in December. So thank God for that. As far as sizing on these bad boys, sizing came in three sizes, one, two, and three. I don't remember the exact size range, but one was like four to six or seven, and it was like two, seven to 11, and then, Three was 12, 11, 13, something like that. So I got mine in size three. Now as far as resale these bad boys, as I just said, this is a $20 pair of shoes or pods. So resale is virtually non-existent and they're still available on Yeezy.com. So without any further ado, let's unbag these bad boys. So since it's coming to the bag, I'm gonna need for my shake, but I'm never remember, safety first. Let's get them out the bag. Oh. That's a doozy. Discard that. All right, so it comes in the nylon bag. This nylon bag is just all black. It's a drawstring bag, like a dust bag. No branding anywhere, which is fine. Let's get them out this bag. <laughs> it's just two black pods, y'all. So there you have it. The new Yeezy pods that you get on Yeezy.com for 20 bucks. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section down below. So yeah, these bad boys are very simplistic. This material on this sock-like, you know, construction, very thick. It's very thick and, and it's Yeezy quality. So what you expect is some Yeezy quality garments. Expect it out of this pod. Very thick, very nice. Very simplistic. Both are pretty much the same. The difference is like the arch areas, uh, right and left arch areas is, is a difference. But outside of that, it's the same on both shoes. On the outsole, the outsole seem to be not too grippy to touch, but maybe grippy on the floor. And then it says made in Italy, made in Italy. And it's three dots, it's nothing, nothing spectacular about these, honestly. I'll reach on the inside and see what the inside feel like. So I'm gonna reach down in here. Okay, it's like it's a thin insole in this bad boy because even where it splits for the, you know, for the traction at the bottom, there's, I feel, insole, which is pretty nice. Something on my hand. Oh, it's a Made in Italy sticker. Well, let's see if I can get these bad boys inside out. I don't think nobody showed inside out. Let's see. Kind of difficult. Oh, okay. So the insole in this bad boy is gray. It's like a, it's like a charcoal gray. Real simplistic, actually like a stone gray. More, more like a stone to me. So I get these bad boys more inside out. It's like a stone and the insole goes, well, I'm sorry, it's not the insole. It's a suede patch going up the Achilles, which is very nice, soft, super soft to the touch. Yeezy quality suede, that's for damn sure. And the insole itself feels similar to the suede, but it's not suede, it's, it's soft though. I feel like it's soft enough to wear like without socks, if you understand what I'm saying. And I don't think like this black stretching material wouldn't rub the top of your foot at all. It's real tight and snug. So I'm trying to get a close up look at that you know, in the B-roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and try these bad boys on for y'all. I'm gonna try one on with out of sock, one on with the sock, and let's know the difference. All right, so I tried them both on, one with the sock, one without a sock, and honestly, either way is fine to me. And if I had to pick one, and you would pick one and that's it, I'm a sock wearer, so I'll probably go with socks, but the no sock one actually feel much better on my foot. So here in Michigan, it's probably like 15 degrees outside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know why I insulate or think these bad boys are against the weather, which I think they're not. I wouldn't want to go outside in these bad boys in cold weather without socks, because your feet would probably freeze instantly. <laughs> However, day to day, like, I, I, they 20 bucks, so I think I want to pair them around the house. I would wear these around the house, especially in the colder months where it's, you know, cold air lower, so your feet cold walking around the house. 
I would wear these around the house nonstop. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, in the grip on the carpet, the grip is stupendous. These bad boys are, you know what I'm saying? The, they feel good. It's, it's a it's a level of it's a level of cushion for how thin the insole is and how thin the traction pads are. There's a level of cushion in these bad boys, noticeable. And as I said, as far as the sizing, it was one, two, and three. I'm a true size 13. Three goes up to 13. My toes is at the edge, right at the border, not pushing over, and my heels at the back of the heel. And so for me, 13, I'm a true 13. You go for a size three, it's gonna fit you perfectly. No room. I see people with their toes kind of falling short or scrunched up in the areas. Perfect for me, size 13. So you guys tell me, did you guys pick up the new Yeezy Pod from Yeezy.com for now 20 bucks? Let me know in the comment section down below. So once again, I want to thank everyone for tuning into my channel. Give me all of the feedback, all the love. I really appreciate you guys. Let's keep the momentum going. As my little son, Master Gamer says, don't be a stupid dumb hater. Like, subscribe. Holla. I ain't trying to be aggressive, but I wanted on the humble. She shine like VVS's and her tongue can do a funnel. She a bad little five plus five. Girl, I want you. Ain't no sliding, no DM, but when I can slide up on you, I'm just talking out the net. Mouth closed, full of liquor. The rendezvous, we celebrate big for going bigger. Some thought I lost, some recognize the cost that I paid to be, of course, nothing less than the boss. Hot boxing for the f let them smell the turps and cologne I got no handouts, giving work off my loans I wish it would tell me put out my strong I'm a California taxpayer, that's on my own Yeah, learn to hit them flip, flip, flips Get it in like gymnastics and flip, flip, flip Quiet, but a sharpshooter, flip, flip, flip If the plan don't land, I load up another clip I can't miss Plan A had to work, no plan B Slice pies with my guys, they the family I be cooking for a minute, Gordon Ramsay Like a cherry picking, falling back, working hard, I work relentless. We are not the same if you broke, there's no resemblance. Take a purple to my head, baby, like Hendrix. You on the thread, where you at, I do a dash. Through the valley, half tank with blunts full of gas. Got it in the front seat, hit it from the back. Her in the crib, no plan B, I smash. Jail strong, put it in the universe and work it. Not only for a light lunch, that's sake and urchin. Nothing's gonna stop me.